I still have a surprise in store for Elizabeth and Bryce, which Amber and I are working on this week on Seven Little Johnstons Trent. Remember, we gave Liz and Bryce the cutest surprise ever, but first we received the news that last week's gender reveal, or cliffhanger boy, was a girl. I knew it was a girl, so I was thrilled. Girls are just a lot more fun to look at him. And I wonder what the next thing they'll find out is if Liz's baby will be a little person. Their daughter is little to medium in stature. Amber clarified that they won't know for sure until I was like, holy crap, when mom informed me that she had no idea that Jonah was little up until 31 weeks. And she didn't know for sure that I was little until approximately 26, 28 weeks. This was mentioned during one of our early measurements of average size. Amber compared the sonogram of the new baby to the one she had of Liz back in the day. All right, so this is you at 18, and at 18 weeks, they did not find any evidence of dwarfism at all. They said that she is average size. All little people babies that are healthy around 18 to 22 weeks show average size. This is right, and at 29, we know what to look for. But before 22 weeks, we all measured tall TR then asked Liz where her head was at with the two possibilities, do you want a little one or an average size? Initially, I was hoping for average because it was the first pregnancy and easier. But now I'm not sure. Recalling Jonah's birth, I don't know if I could live in an Akun body, but I can tell you that raising an advertised child will be much easier because 23 years ago, when my parents had me, I didn't come home for the first six months. I can't even begin to imagine what it would be like if Elizabeth and Bryce had to go through that. Amber recalled that when she woke up from giving birth, he came in and he had a black and white Polaroid picture of Jonah. All I could really see was that it was covered in tubes and other stuff Trent had mentioned that you can't see them right now. Trent explained how he had to rush back to be with Jonah after giving birth, so I had to look at her a while. That day was really difficult, Poi stated, so be sure to return as soon as possible. When your dad instructs you to visit your wife, you should also return as soon as possible in case your son passes away. Liz am looking forward. The news Bryce agreed that the baby's health is the most important thing. I mean, I'm really hoping that in the end, she's just average great. But it's TR and Bryce said it's going to be a new experience for their families either way. Just like me, you know that if I have a little baby, it's going to be new to me. That's right, and new to everyone in your family, yeah. So either way, it's going to be a learning lesson. You're okay, we are pro little 336 people. But I just said I'm going to 339 love the grandbaby no matter what while redecorating for baby TR was there. Brian and Liz also started work on the nursery. We like the decorations, but it's making it more realistic. Trent Amber is also setting up their own nursery at their home. They had to rearrange bedrooms so they could create a space for the new baby and any future grandchildren. We think it's important to have a room set up in the home where the baby crib will go. This is where I would like it to go, kind of like a caddy corner, and then place the twin bed along that wall changing table. I want to turn this space into a multi-purpose grandkids area since I don't want to constantly putting up and taking down cribs. Jenna, didn't you pay by switching rooms because he's already considering moving out? I intend to move out within the next year and probably move in with Ashley. After all, we're almost five years old, so it would be best for us to take the next step and move in together without having children and participate in Trent and Amber's new couples challenge. Amber and her date night also enjoyed a wonderful night of cookie making, but with a twist. One of you had to mix all the ingredients while wearing a blindfold, and the other had to give directions by when leading with their hands. A leader is limited to using three command phrases. The end result was pretty delicious. Another couples challenge down, and we didn't kill each other, which was the best part later, Anna. Amber wasn't so great at the fun part of directing trend. She'd be like, I'm a marionette. We're gonna have a peanut butter. Oh, wait, 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 you got to get it over some became Emma and Anna's baby gift competition. 
after their shopping excursion last week, Emma went to Liz's house to surprise her with the baby gifts they had purchased. They then held a competition to see who could open the most items. Emma was not able to meet our mother, who was our mom's mother, but Emma would sing us this, You are my sunshine, Lenny. And that has been something that has stuck with me, so it was really sweet I knew that was going to be good. One of Anna's gifts had a sentimental meaning. It said, you are my sunshine. But remember, because you always say, yep, mama, told you, yep, I told Emma. Emma bought a few additional gifts to give herself an advantage, which annoyed Anna. I believe that Anna and I had shoes like this. So we thought, what the hell? She didn't buy this with us. She cheated. I obeyed the rules. This was a competition. So this was a beat, was a comp. It was about a little over okay. Trent, I'm not even going to pick a winner because I think you should not have because someone cheated. I could not pick a winner because they were both equally great. So they both won Emma. Also, Liz's car surprise helped her parents pull off an extra taking photos for her jewelry business, Elizabeth's over here. And we're like, hey, Liz, we need. When Liz saw the more dependable car that Trent M had purchased for her, her expression said, Oh, really? Yes? Really? What do you think? Yeah, we don't need pictures. Go check it out. You like it. You're welcome. I just wanted you to have something to keep you safe. Lai explains why the gift was so heartwarming. I started crying because, given the circumstances we find ourselves in, I did not anticipate becoming a mother at the age of 21. When the mother saw Elizabeth joyful, content, and overwhelmed, I knew she was grateful for the gift. I knew it would take some time for them to process the news. But did I also know that our kid is going to have some Dean awesome grandparents to love and to take care of? Absolutely. That's the biggest blessing that Bryce and I could have ever asked for. Got to give them a good hug, Dad. Mom and Dad have always been awesome, but this really shows like they're excited about having a grandchild and that they're going to be some goofy grandparents or Lolly and Ba. She also shared how she knows her parents have her back no matter what. I'm not bawling my...